Hey guys, Dr. Andre Pinesett here, the Premier Productivity Expert, and tonight I'm answering one of your questions. And the question is one that I get a lot, so I thought I'd answer it, and it is, does it matter if I haven't taken all the classes that are covered on the MCAT? Will it affect my score? And the simple answer is, maybe, possibly, could be, <laughs> might not. And what I say by that is that in anything, guys, like in your whole life, right, how will we do in, in medical school? You can do well on the MCAT, you can do well in medical school, never having been a science major, right? But what you have to have done is studied the material. So more important than taking any class that's on the MCAT and how that's gonna affect your score is whether you took the time to learn the material that would be covered in that class and if you learned it in the perspective of the MCAT. So if you've been on my YouTube channel, you've seen my video about number one key to in the MCAT and I talk about studying for the MCAT for four years. And this is kind of what I'm talking about. Because many of you have taken classes that are covered on the MCAT. Maybe you took cell bio, or maybe you took biochemistry. Maybe you took physics, right? And maybe you just scraped by in that physics class, and so you don't know what you're doing in physics, you, right? You have no concept of it, and it was a while ago. Maybe it was three years ago. Do you think you're going to do well on the MCAT not having studied for that now? No. You have to restudy it. So that would be the exact same for a person who's never taking physics. All taking a class does for you is give you the opportunity to learn the material. But if you didn't take the time to learn it and learn it thinking about the MCAT, then it's not going to be that useful to you. So if you've never taken psychology, can you do well in the psychology section of the MCAT? Absolutely. You just have to study some psychology. Now, if you've taken a psychology class or you've taken a physics class, then your learning curve is going to be a lot right flatter. It's because you're going to have less ramp up. You're like, oh, I remember hearing something about Newton's laws. That's something. Or was that Freudian psychology, right? You're going to cue a little bit. And so that's going to make the learning faster. But it, by no means do you have to take a class. You can always just study it and just study longer. So instead of taking maybe two weeks to go through a subject like someone who's already taken the class would have done, maybe you'll take three weeks or four weeks. But either way, you can absolutely do it without the class. So if you're planning on taking the MCAT, Right? and you want to get it done right away, right? you want to get it done your junior year, that way you can apply and not take a gap year, then there's going to be some classes maybe that you haven't taken that are covered on the MCAT. No problem. Just study your butt off and really dive into the material for that subject, and you'll be just fine. So that's your question answered. If you have questions, if you're watching this video, you didn't answer that, and you didn't ask that question, but you have some other question, shoot me an email. Right? Write it in the comments below. You can get your question answered on this YouTube channel. And tell your friends to get on this YouTube channel. If you haven't already, subscribe. It's all information. I'm here for you guys. Hit me up, Andre at PaymentProductivity.com. Get on my YouTube channel. Get on my Facebook. I stream live on Facebook answering questions. Be there. Don't miss out. This is Dr. Andre Pineset signing off, y'all.